Ever since Prince Harry started dating the biracial American actress, there have been trolls that said nasty things about her on the internet. Some of the worst comments are sexist or racist or both. There are also bizarre, unfounded conspiracy theories spread about Meghan. Most notably that she faked her first pregnancy and that Archie was born through a surrogate, or even that Archie was a doll. There were also disgusting and, again, unfounded claims that Meghan was unmaternal and was even endangering her son. In a deep dive into the world of Meghan hate for Refinery29, Aida Imoako spoke to a number of people with first-hand experience of this trolling. One of these people was BuzzFeed News reporter Ellie Hall, who once wrote an article comparing headlines about Meghan and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, that went viral. She got some intense backlash for this article from so-called Meghan anti-fans or Megexiteers. Ms. Hall explained that she interacts with royal watchers on Twitter because she feels too many reporters live in a bubble of their own making, but said it has got harder over the past few years. She said, it has got increasingly more toxic. Whenever Ms. Hall writes anything about Meghan, she receives vile emails which make horrible claims about the Duchess, and many contain bigoted language. She said reading some of the emails made her feel sick. The reporter said, until I started writing about Meghan, IDIDNT get these emails criticizing my work and criticizing truth. She added, Meghan was pregnant. That is a fact. People disagree on that fact like she's faking her pregnancy. Ms. Hall recalled receiving one email that referred to Meghan as a half-breed American mediocre actress. She said, every time I publish something about Meghan, I get emails that make me sick to my stomach. Ms. Hall said other journalists have received far worse abuse, and acknowledged that Meghan fans can be bad as well, accusing people of being racist for writing anything vaguely critical about the Duchess. She said those on the royal rota get far worse abuse than I do for the things that they write and Meghan fans can be nasty too. Camilla Tomini, an associate editor at The Telegraph who writes about the royals, was branded camel toe and recently wrote about the abuse she has faced as a royal reporter. Harper's Bazaar royal editor and Finding Freedom co-author Omid Scobie is also a particular target for Meghan haters. Ms. Hall said, he gets it worse than everybody and he is a person of color. Meanwhile, one Meghan fan who runs a pro-Sussex Twitter account, but wished to remain anonymous for fear of professional repercussions, insisted that equating how the Meghan fans, Sussex squad, and Meghan haters, Megexiteers, behave online is unfair. They said, the unifying ethos of the two groups are extremely different. The Sussex squad is a group united by their admiration for Harry and Meghan and inspired by their cause-driven work. Megshi is a racist hate group spewing racial slurs, misogyny and conspiracy theories across social media in the hope of driving Meghan out of the royal family. Several people, both fans and journalists, called on the royal family to make a statement condemning the abuse towards Meghan. Meanwhile others called on the social media platforms to do a better job in stamping out hate. A Twitter spokesperson said, Keeping Twitter safe is a top priority for us, abuse and harassment have no place on the service. We have clear rules in place that apply to everyone, everywhere that address threats of violence, abuse and harassment and hateful conduct and we take action when we identify accounts that violate these rules.